said, well, we're, you know, we're happy to help, but we don't know, we have our fingers crossed. We don't, we don't know where it'll come from. And there are a lot of people who said, gee, can, with all that's going on in Hartford, can West Hartford support something on its own like this? And I think it didn't take any longer than the first concert to realize that this was a uniquely talented group of musicians who was offering something incredibly special and that the West Hartford markets could, could certainly sustain it. And boy, have we been the better for it ever since then. Uh, and it's, it's an important lesson that then from you know, what, what was a very modest request at that time, and I know of all the, a lot of the people in this room were, were people who volunteered and just lent themselves uh, to try to make a go of this. Uh, that has succeeded so much, and now it's just part of the fabric of the community. It's on the calendar, but many times a year you're expecting a holiday concert and these wonderful evenings, and it's there. But I'm glad to see you all back tonight so we can just have a reminder that in order to keep it like this, we need to keep coming. We need to keep supporting it, and we need to keep showing our appreciation for, for Richard and for Ron and for all these wonderful musicians for making such a wonderful product available right here, right in our town hall, right in our wonderful town of West Hartford. So congratulations again on your 10 years, and I wish you 20 better more. Thank you. And I also MC events. So tonight I'm lucky enough to MC with Rachel Frank. Rachel Frank. <laughs> I just met her tonight and I cannot remember names. How are you doing, Rachel? Good, how are you? Good. We are co MC, so we both don't know kind of what we're doing. But anyway. I'm, I'm used to talking to a camera and I don't actually see the people, so this is a little different for me. And you can blame me for the crappy weather that we've been having all night. I'm used to it. Don't worry. I can take it. Okay. Um, we do have to remember a few things. Um, we have uh, the dance floor will be led by two, by two wonderful people and a great couple. They're very understanding, they're very patient, and they're, they're very accurate in terms of the way uh, they describe things and, and their simple dis uh, directions along the way. So what will, have, what will unfold before you is this. Uh, Jonathan will have the, well, I'll let him do the order, whether it will be men on the floor first and then women. Uh, that, that will be their call. But typically they will show a dance, describe a dance, talk you through a dance, walk you through a dance, and then the orchestra will play that style of dance for you. Then we'll move on to the next one. Rhythm beats as well, it's gonna be a great time. But uh, we're going to start the dancing tonight with uh, one of the first American style dances, and it was called the Foxtrot, started in the 1920s, up in vaudeville by the name of, uh, a man by the name of Harry Fox. And back when the trotting was a big deal, so uh, we thought it'd be a good way to get you moving tonight. So hopefully you haven't eaten too much at this point. So what we know... Left, side together, right, left, very nice. Now, if you're thinking what is Foxtrot, it's actually one of the most popular dances. You'd probably do it to Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, Harry Connick Jr.